Hi guys, I welcome you all to today's session on 5 MCQs a day series which we are running for ESI that is economics and social issues portion which is a very important component of RBI, NABAD and SEBI grade A, grade B examinations and we are going to discuss some of the very important schemes and initiatives which are which are going to be relevant for the 2019 examinations and the topic which we are going to cover today is the initiatives and in skill development. So here you can take a snapshot of the relevance of this particular series as well as the different courses which we are presently running for the different competitive examinations. So for SEBI grade A this is relevant for the phase 2 and the same goes for RBA grade B which is again relevant for phase number 2 and with regard to NABAT grade A this is relevant for both phase 1 and phase 2. Now before proceeding forward let me also quickly tell you about the uh, results that we have got in the past few years. So we have started this initiative of guiding students for these competitive exams and we have been blessed with some of the very amazing results. So if we take a look at the RBA grade B 2017 exam, we have got 27 selections in the final list and in NABAT grade A 2017, there were 11 selections in the final list and in the NABAT grade A 2018, 27 of our students, they made it to the final list and out of the total generalist seats, which were only 46. And in RBA grade B 2018, 287 plus interview calls have been received by our students and the final result of this is still awaited. So let's start our discussion on the topic skill development initiatives. So we are going to focus on direct as well as indirect initiatives which have been taken for the purpose of overall skill development in the country. So let's start with the first question. Which of the following is incorrect regarding Jan Shikshan Sansthans? Options are, they have been established to provide vocational training to non-literate, neo-literate as well as school dropouts. Previously under the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, the JSS are now working under the Ministry of Human Resources Development. Among other things, the scope of JSS also includes administering simple test and award certificates. All are correct. None of the above is correct. So this question is basically about Jan Shikshan Sansthans. So guys, if you talk about the Jan Shikshan Sansthans, then as their name only indicates, they have been established for the providing vocational training to non-literate, neo-literate as well as school dropouts. So we have to get our Jan Shikshit, that is, we have to get the people of India up to the levels of certain educational uh, training or skills and this is to be done by identifying the skills as they would as they would have a market in the region of their establishment so we are going to see what kind of skills are required in the nearby vicinity market and those are the skills which we are going to provide to the people the scope of this particular sangathan they include developing an appropriate curriculum and training modules which would cover vocational elements of not only general awareness but also life enrichment components as well. Training equivalent to courses designed by Directorate of Adult Education, National Institute of Open Schooling and Director General Employment and training is going to be provided through these Sangatans as well as the focus is going to be on providing training to a pool of resource persons and master the trainers who are going to conduct the training for these sangatans and we are also going to focus on administering simple tests we are going to check whether the people they are learning through these simple tests and at the end of the test we are also going to award certain certificates to the people as well and we are also going to build a network with the employers and industries so that we can provide suitable placement to the trainees as well Now, if we talk about the administrative framework, then this was previously under the Ministry of Human Resources Development or HRD, but now they are working under the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. So, this is the present ministry and Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship has also launched a new portal for this particular scheme, which is www.jss.gov.in. So, this is about the Jan Shikshan Sansthans, which are operating under the Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Ministry. 
Now, why these were in news? They were in news because the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship has recently issued new guidelines for these Jan Shikshan Sanstans. The new guidelines they were issued as a part of an attempt by the Ministry to re-energize and reinvigorate these Sanstans. We have to give a renewed focus, a renewed push to these Sanstans and that's why the guidelines they were issued and the key highlights of these guidelines they include aligning the course and curriculum with the national skill qualification framework in order to standardize the training which is being provided to identify and promote traditional skills in the district through skilling and upskilling so we are going to focus on the traditional skills as well which are required in that particular region and further we are also going to focus on easy online certification so as we've already seen a website for this particular scheme has also been announced by the ministry uh, further, we are going to focus on creating livelihood linkages. We are going to provide those kinds of training which are going to help the people in earning livelihood. And then we are going to focus on training of trainers to develop the capacity through the National Skills Training Institution. So we are also going to focus on capacity building of the trainers as well. So now we can easily answer this question. There is a second statement. This is incorrect. Because this scheme, it was previously under the Ministry of HRD and now it is under the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. So this is going to be our answer. Next question is about National Entrepreneurship Awards. So this is National Entrepreneurship Awards were instituted by the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship in. Options are 2012, 2014, 2016, 2018 or none of the above. So first and foremost, we must be aware that there are a separate set of awards which go by the name of National Entrepreneurship Awards. Now recently, the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship it presented the National Entrepreneurship Awards 2018 by honoring 30 outstanding young entrepreneurs and three entrepreneurship ecosystem builders for their exceptional contribution in entrepreneurship development. And this ceremony was recently held in New Delhi. So we have to be aware that there are certain awards in which not only the entrepreneurs, but the people who are building these kinds of entrepreneurship systems, they are also being awarded. Now these awards, they were initially instituted by the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship way back in 2016. And, and the objective was to encourage a culture of entrepreneurship across the country. And under the awards, each of the enterprise or the individual winners, they receive a trophy, a certificate and a cash prize of rupees 5 lakh. While each of the organizations which are promoting entrepreneurship ecosystem, they receive trophy, certificate and a cash prize of rupees 10 lakh. So now we can easily answer this question. We are aware about the National Entrepreneurship Awards and we have seen that they were first instituted by the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship in 2016. So the answer to this is going to be option number three. Next question, Atal Tinkering Labs is the flagship initiative undertaken by Options are Niti Aayog, Ministry of Human Resources Development, Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, Ministry of Science and Technology or none of the above. So guys, if you talk about the Atal Tinkering Labs, then this is the flagship initiative which is being undertaken by the Niti Aayog and this is being undertaken under the Atal Innovation Mission. Now, Atal Tinkering Labs, they are basically aimed at inculcating the values of innovation, technology and entrepreneurship among, among the India's youngsters. So, we have to inculcate these sorts of values in the India's youngsters and for this particular purpose, Atal Tinkering Labs, they have been established. So, they are dedicated workspaces where students from class 6 to class 12, they learn innovation skills and they develop the ideas that will ultimately help them in moving forward and transforming entire Indian scenario. So we have to remember that these tinkering labs, they are basically dedicated towards the students of class 6 to class 12th. So now we can easily answer this question that Atal Tinkering Labs, this is a flagship initiative which is being undertaken by the Niti Aayog. So the answer is going to be option number 
1. So we have to be uh, very careful about answering this particular question because we may think that this is a flagship initiative undertaken by some other ministry, but uh, since uh, since it is of Niti Aayog, so we have to remember this one. Next question. Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship has partnered with partnered with Dash to launch Digital Disha program. Options are Microsoft, Facebook, Adobe, Google, or none of the above. So, guys, Atal Innovation Mission and software major Adobe have signed a statement of intent to collaborate on enhancing digital literacy and creative skills. Now, under the agreement which has been signed, the Adobe would implement the Digital Disha program across 100 schools under the Atal Tinkering Labs initiative. So, Adobe is going to focus on implementation of Digital Disha program. Now, as a part of this particular program, teachers and the children, they are going to be benefited from the creative learning resources which are going to be created and these are to be created by providing free access to Adobe Spark Premium. So this is the software which is going to be used for the purpose of uh, imparting learning resources to the teachers as well as children in these 100 schools. So this is not only going to empower the children with new skills to thrive in the digital era, but will it will also prepare them for attaining the long term success. So as we have just learned, the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship has partnered with Adobe to launch the Adobe Digital Disha program. And as a part of this program, the Adobe would provide Adobe Spark application. And this would be a fun and frictionless storytelling creative cloud application which would be free of charge for the education and a skill development purpose. So this is basically the application which is involved. And so we have to remember this particular application also, which is Adobe Spark application. So we have to be aware about that Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship has recently partnered with Adobe to launch a Digital Disha program. So next question, which of the following is correct about Shreya's program? It is a program basket comprising of three initiatives of the HRD, Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship and the Ministry of Labor and Employment. It would provide a platform wherein the educational institutions and industries, they would lock in and provide their respective demand and supply of apprenticeship. It stands for Scheme for Higher Education Youth in Apprenticeship and Skills. Options are 1 and 2, 2 and 3. 1 and 3, all of the above or none of the above. So guys, this Shreyas program, it was recently in news and the Union Minister of HRD, that is uh, Mr. Prakash Javadekar, have recently launched this particular scheme for higher education youth in apprenticeship and skills, that is Shreyas program, in order to provide industry-specific apprenticeship opportunities to the fresh graduates so that the fresh graduates they can work as apprentice they can acquire the requisite skills which are to be used in a particular industry they are to be imparted through this particular program so this shreyas is a major effort in order to make our degree students more skilled capable employable and aligned to the needs of the economy or the industries so that whenever they go out for a job they are able to contribute better and they are able to get a good job for them and this is ultimately going to promote gainful employment also in the country. So if you learn more about this particular Shreyas program, then this is a program basket which comprises of initiatives of HRD Ministry, Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship and the Ministry of Labor and Employment. So basically the different ministries, they are collaborating for this particular program and it is focused towards students primarily from non-technical courses and it is going to introduce certain employable skills into their learning it is going to promote their apprenticeship as integral to education so that they acquire the requisite skills which they would need at a later stage in order to get proper or good jobs Shriyas is going to provide a platform also 
where the educational institutions and industries they can log in and they can share their demand and supply of apprenticeship so that the people can know so that the learners they can know that how much demand and supply of apprenticeships they are there in the industry and accordingly people can be groomed for meeting those demands the program promotes apprenticeship as an important part of education and it integrates the government's employment building efforts into the education system so this is a very important aspect about this particular program that it focuses on apprenticeship it focuses on learning by doing and the apprenticeship courses they will be available to the students from academic year april to may 2019 so now we can easily answer this question that all of these statements which are given here they are correct with regard to the shreyas program and so the answer is going to be option number 4 so guys this was all about our discussion for today if you have any query you can drop us a mail at hello@edutap.co.in or if you want to know more about our courses you can visit our website at www.edutap.co.in or in case of any query you want to get into touch with us personally you can call us at 8146207241 so friends if you enjoyed watching this video please like the same share it with your friends and do subscribe to our youtube channel and in case you wish to get regular updates from us you can even join our telegram channel the link of which is given here as well as in the description of this particular video now an additional benefit which you can get by joining this telegram channel is that you can fetch the pdfs of all the discussions which we are doing on youtube through this particular telegram channel which is going to be very helpful for you in revision so thank you friends happy learning